Okay, so here's some quarter inch or so slices of cheese off my block. This is just cheese grease. Uh, you can use a little bit of butter. You don't just do a little bit of oil in the pan to start with. This is a very well seasoned cast iron though. Non-stick pan just makes it easier. Medium heat. You gotta get the pan warm. Not too hot. Just take your cheese. Add it to the pan. I spin it at first just to get the grease under it. And you just cook it. It takes a couple of minutes. This is a uh, aged Vermont white cheddar. I actually got it from Walmart, but it's good cheese. You see the starting to come off the edges there. Now you know the temperature is good when it doesn't just burn, but see how it's, it's dissolving away. As the grease runs out of it, it'll kind of spread around a little bit, which is fine. But my stove leans that way hard, so it's kind of janky. Metal spatula. So we're getting some browning around the edge there. That's what you want to see. I think it's my stove leans so much, I gotta rotate it. <laughs> It's kind of like making a pancake. I just go to you see browning at the edges. Cheese is nice and melty. If you'd want more solid cheese in the center, just use less cheese or more cheese, thicker slices. It smells so good. This works really good with Parmesan and hard cheddars. Um, you don't really want to do it with soft cheese because it just gets sticky. But all that grease came out of the cheese, so turn the heat off now. Now just go around the edge. There he is. Grilled cheese. Grilled lump of cheese. That's it. It's so good. Yep. That's crispy. Melty. And amazing.